Hey yo, it's the deal, my people. You know who it is. It's a Don Tony Teflon, and I'm back at you with another one. And this one is Game of Thrones, a song of ice and fire. What if? What if Cal Drogo lived? From an early age, Drogo was known as a violent warrior, even amongst the fierce Dothraki. By the age of 30, he led a Kalasar over 40,000 strong, the largest on the Dothraki Sea. Although the Dothraki are usually sold as nomadic warriors or savages, Drogo owns a palace in the sacred Dothraki city of the Dothrace Dothrak. He also owns a nine-towered mansion in Pentos that was given to him by the city's ruling magistrates as a part of their policy of bribing Dothraki to not loot the city. Cal Drogo, son of Cal Barbaro, has never been defeated in battle. Illyrio Malpatis, serving as host to the exiled Viserys and Daenerys Targaryen, arranges a marriage between Princess Daenerys and Cal Drogo during one of Drogo's visits to Pentos. In return for his bride, Drogo is to provide 10,000 Dothraki warriors for her brother's campaign to retake the Iron Throne. Daenerys is intimidated and terrified of her new husband and expects to be raped, but despite his fierce reputation and looks, Drogo proves to be a surprisingly considerate lover, and although he and Danny share no common language, he establishes to her that he understands the word no. And although it's not depicted this way in the show, he does not begin to have intercourse with Danny until she expresses consent and initiates contact. And it is this night that sets up a beautiful and loving marriage between Daenerys and Cal Drogo. It is the love that Cal Drogo shows Danny that allows her to blossom into a strong, confident young woman. And though it is shown in the show that Danny picks up the Dothraki language, Drogo also proves to be a quick study and picks up the common tongue of Westeros. Drogo's relationship with his brother-in-law Viserys, however, is not a good one. While Danny is respectful of Dothraki culture and eager to learn about it and embrace it, her brother shows nothing but content for the draft Dothraki, calling them savages, and is increasingly impatient for the aid that Cal Drogo had promised him. The issue between them finally spills over in Vase Dothrak, when Viserys draws his blade and threatens the lives of Daenerys and an unborn child. He demands his crown. Drogo, using more cunning than people think he has, agrees to give him his crown, but then yokes him up and spills a pot of molten gold over his head, killing him. While in Vase Dothrak, the women of the Dosh Karlin proclaim that Drogo and Danny's unborn child will be the stallion who mounts the world, who is the prophesied leader of Dothraki legend. Although Danny keeps asking him, Drogo at this time has little or no interest in conquering the Seven Kingdoms. However, after an assassin tries to kill Danny and claim Robert Baratheon's reward, he reconsiders his position. Enraged by the attempt on his wife's life, Drogo reaffirms his commitment to conquer the Seven Kingdoms. Pillages several towns with Tsar and harvests slaves in exchange for warships that will take his horde across the sea. While in Lazar, Drogo's Kalasar defeats a rival Kalasar of Cal Orgo. Drogo slays Orgo himself, but takes a wound to his chest. Drogo, unconcerned about such a minor wound, allows Daenerys to convince him to let Mira Master, Elizarine Magi, make him a patch. 
The patch inches, so Drogo tears it off, causing the wound to fester. Drogo's condition deteriorates until he falls off his horse, a symbolic event in Dothraki culture, indicating he is no longer fit to bleed. As he lingers near death, Daenerys convinces Mira Master to use her blood magic to perverse his life by sacrificing his stallion. The Magi betrays her for revenge of attacking her village, and the ritual only returns Drogo to a catatonic state while causing their child to die inside Danny's womb. Realizing that Drogo would never return to his former state, Danny smothers him with a pillow and builds a funeral pyre as his calisar breaks apart. She burns his body on the pyre along with Mira Master and enters the flames with her petrified dragon eggs. As the flames magically trade life for life, killing the magi and hatching three dragons while leaving Daenerys unharmed. So what would happen if Khal Drogo died? Well, number one and first and foremost, there would be no dragons. Therefore, no mother of dragons and none of those prophecies. None of the people that she met, no Korth, none of that stuff would ever take place whatsoever. Second, I do believe that Rhaegar would have been born. So if he never died from the patch that she put on him and somehow he survived that situation, I'm going to take it from that spot. If he survived from that situation, say that he never took the patch off and he, the wound never festered and he lived that way, I believe that Rago would have been bored and therefore his prophecies possibly could have came true. Another thing or the third thing I should say that I think that would have happened definitely is Cal Drogo would have tried to take the Iron Throne. And I think this is how he would have tried to take the Iron Throne. I think he would have headed down the Kaizak Pass in the Soundstone Mountains and then headed to Marine. I think from there he would have sold his slaves and then got the warships he needed to go and take Westeros. Now from there, I think that they would have landed somewhere in Dorne. Now Doran Martell... You know, he always has some type of plan to marry his kids to a Targaryen. Obviously, Danny is married at this time. So, I still think he would get down. Because if you see 50,000 Dothrakis on your shore and a Targaryen queen with them, I think Doran would have definitely got down with them. So I think their first alliance would have been with Dorne, and I think there would have been some type of marriage situation that Dorne Martell would have worked out with some of the Dothraki and his children just so he could be down with them. Now with the strength of Dorne and the Kalasar that Cal Drogo has brought to Westeros, I do not believe that the Lannisters would have any way, no matter who they teamed up with, I don't care who you put up with them with, I don't think the Lannisters have any way to stop the Horde from coming. So therefore, I think that Khal Drogo would have seized the Iron Throne and executed any Lannister he could have got his hands on. Tyrion, who we see in the show, is with Danny, and we suspect in the books he will be with Danny at some point. At this time, I would believe that he would have been with his family. Therefore, if he would have got caught, Tyrion would have been killed and executed. I do not see no hand to the king situation going on for Tyrion right then. Sir Jorah Mormont, it's very hard to say how it would turn out for him. If he is exposed by the letter, the death at Khal Drogo's hand would be very swift and very harsh. He would not get the pardon to go away like Danny gave him. But if that letter is not shown, then I expect him to be with Khal Drogo and Danny and sitting on the council somehow, maybe hand to the king or something like that. And although I have shown that Khal Drogo isn't a savage, obviously he owns places and he was able to pick up the Westeros language, I do think that it's his culture that eventually would be his downfall. Because the Dothraki are basically blood riders and their culture basically is the Iron Price. So I don't know how this nomadic style of living would do in Westeros. I don't think very well. And that would allow Varys and Illyrio whose original plan was to have Khal Drogo go over to the Seven Kingdoms and upset things, plan come to fruition. Their plan would have worked. So therefore, I think it probably would have ended up a little bit different. Not happy for Khal Drogo whatsoever. 
because I think eventually Varys and Illyrio already having relations with Khal Drogo would have worked their way onto his council. Eventually, I think Khal Drogo would have been found poisoned to death. As I said before, I think that the timeline wants to help itself and you can't fight time, so I think he would eventually die. So I think that Varys and Illyria would have him poisoned, maybe with the help of the Sand Snakes. I think Khal Drogo would be poisoned and killed. Danny would then have to flee with her child, and then Aegon would come as the Black Fire and take over everything just as they had planned. But as I said, their plan may have worked, but the prophecy of Danny's child, the stallion who mounts the world, would eventually come to fruition, and eventually he would come back, avenge his father and Danny, and shit all over Westeros and take over everything. And that's what I think would have happened if Cal Drogo would have lived. So, if you like the way I do this, please thumbs up this, please spread this across the realm, and please subscribe. And if you have any what if titles that you would like me to do, put them down in the comments and I'll definitely get them done. And until next time, you know who it is. Peace! And stay sexy.